Hi, and good morning. I don't have a, a sample to show you, but um, we're gonna we're going to let me turn off my volume here. Um, we are sorry, okay. Um, so good morning. <laughs> I'm going to make with you. It was a candy dish. I was gonna print off the picture, and then I got kind of tied up with Homer. He's out chasing the lawnmower this morning. Little stinker. So I'm going to make this with you. Super simple. And I also want to thank one of my designers, Nicole. She posted on Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations. That's our other group. And um, she posted just showing how the, the, the picture of what we're making. It's a candy dish. I made it years and years ago. And the group I made it in is no longer on Facebook. So my videos are gone. But that's okay because we're going to remake this. Super fun. Super easy. And they were great for Easter, yes. But I see a lot of crafters bringing these to retreats, these candy dishes, because you can fly with them flat in your suitcases or travel. And then they are giving them as gifts using on, on your table. I'm just going to uh, unwind a little bit of string here because you can use ribbon, seam binding. Ribbon, seam binding, uh, small. This is just some leftover one eighth, I think it's one eighth of an inch, one third of an inch, no, one eighth. And we had it from a kit, so I'm going to use it on this. And I'm going to use our uh, the new What's Brewing paper. Oh, just gorgeous. So my thought on this, I'm going to make What's Brewing. And I'm also going to talk about this brown cardstock I'm using. But the What's Brewing, and then you can put coffee pods in there. We can put coffee candy tea bags, anything you want. Actually, it'll be very, very cute, very simple. This is, and I'm going to try it out. We just got it in because our other, my artisan brown, the linen, was basically discontinued. They're, they're discontinuing some of the colors that were slower sellers. I don't have a choice in that matter because when I ask for it to be made, if it's not a big seller, they've kind of phased out some colors, but hopefully they will be back. Happy Easter, Sarah. And this is the new coffee brown. And it is artisan, but it it's still going to be Country Craft Creations brand. But it is a little bit of a texture here. It's like a felt. So felt on one side. And you've got, it's not totally smooth, but it is kind of smooth on the other side. Speaking of coffee. I'm still trying to get my daily allotment in. <laughs> so I'm going to type, test it out and see how well it does. It's still that nice 85 pound weight. And all you need is the one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock for this basket. It is so cute. And no cutting. No cutting. But we want to go ahead and score. At four. And eight. One thing that I'm going to do. It's, I will be, I'll show you. We're going to score on both sides at four once you turn it and eight. And I am going to turn this around. Reason being, I need this to bend a little bit more. This is a little bit of a heavier cardstock. And I'm just going to lightly now score at four and eight. That just breaks the fibers. And I feel like it's a smoother bend. Now, if you were really good at using your scoreboard, and I'm not lining it up on a, a crease here, you can score it this way. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And I'm going to now need a ruler. You'll, you'll need a ruler. You'll need another scoring tool. Uh, we can just use the one right here inside of our uh, caterpillar crease. And you're going to want, like I said, a ruler or something that you can use as your guide. Because on these four corners, these four corners, we need to go ahead and do a, a score line. Hi, Cindy. From this corner to this corner. I'm going to lay down my straight edge, whatever you're using. I'm just using my spacers. Thing is, you do want to get right in that corner. And you want to come right down to that point.
and I won't need the ruler. I'm going to go over it again because I do want it to go through the paper. And don't worry about the back side on this. We're going to do this again. And to be honest with you, this is what takes the longest. Keeper is scoring beautifully. Hi from, oh, hi, Tom. Oh, and Tom Lee, the new baby. So hi from Tom Lee and Rebecca. She's a new grandma. And that's the best feeling in the world. It's hard to believe my first grandbaby is 21. Okay, from this corner to this point. But there's nothing as exciting as your first. <laughs> Especially that first granddaughter. Oh. Okay, from here to there again. Don't be afraid to push. You need it to be a score line. Oh, this just goes right back in here. Now, what I want to do is... On each one of these, we need to punch a hole. And I'm just, I know, oh no, we don't punch the hole until we mat it. I forgot. We want to mat, mat it, then punch the holes. So let's go ahead and let's furnish these score lines. Right now, I'm just going to do the squares. Now, you're going to see that. Depending on if you went all the way through, I'm turning this over and we are now going to bend on those score lines that we created. And I'm going to do it both directions and I'll tell you why in a minute, because to be honest with you, um, it will work it, it will be more flexible yes isn't the coffee brown so i wanted to work with it today cindy and as soon as i'm done working with it if i was happy with the results which to be honest with you i think i'm going to be because it's doing really well I'm using my heavy duty phone folder to burnish and it is not popping cracking and that's uh that's you know that's our biggest test here. We need to make sure that it's going to withstand our projects because it's not a lot more expensive. It's a little, it's going to be the same price as your artisan linen. This will be the artisan belt. Um, and we still want. Okay, I just need to put you on mute for one. I had to take that call. Sorry, it was the hotel where our event is, so... Um, it was, I had to just let her know, I'll call her back. So we wanted to withstand the test and it is, I mean, I've got a little bit here because I did push pretty hard, a little pop. I call it popping. It's not really, I can't even call it popping, but okay. So that's our, this is the beginning of our candy dish. As you can see, it's really awesome because you can then Give it as, I mean, you can carry it around flat. And when you get to your event or your hostess gift, 
you can either give it as as all together no uh, yeah the brown is a new one you can give it all together or you can do it as i'm traveling i'm going to a scrap of crop and i want to be able to travel with a flat and then you've got you get there and you just put it all together so one reason you'll see that i did the burnishing on both sides is not only does it bend better but there we go i want the felt on the outside i know you can't really see on camera uh thanks for dropping in bye-bye and um i want the felt on i mean yeah the felt on the outside but we're going to mat this whole thing so we have our squares that's our center squares and they are four by four and i'm going to now cut my papers so i want to cut one two three four five but we need five for the front because i do like to map both sides so we're going to cut 10 squares at three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths I don't know which one she is. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, let's go with, I think I'm going to go with this on the inside. And that on the outside. That was my first choice. So I'll cut five out of this one, five out of this one. Now, directional. So I have to watch my direction on this one. Oh, not really, though, because it's three. No, we don't really have to watch the directional. Three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Because. And the inside. Oh, that's pretty too. See, but the inside will be uh, the dark brown. So I only need five of these. And I do map the bottoms because you want the strength. So this, is, like I said, this would be cute. Adding Keurig coffee pods. Maybe you want to add of the dry creamer, flavored creamer. A lot of fun things you can do with it. And I want to show you what we're going to do for the corners. Okay. That was the one thing I forgot to tell you about the corners. So I think I will add this blue. The thing with the corners here, we really do want a paper that's not directional. So I'm going to add the blue because the blue is just gorgeous. I don't have to worry about direction. And... We'll cut those in just a minute. Two, three, four, five. There's for my outside. We'll cut the inside. Five of this, the browns. And the front is so gorgeous. And don't worry. Like I've mentioned before for my tea drinkers, that one's coming also. And you're just going to die when you see it. That will be <clears throat> the Mother's Day and Father's Day line will come out together. Well, kind of the Mother's Day line. And I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. Well, hello from Florida. You know what? We finally got some of the sunshine up here in Utah. I was about ready to take off the Florida. <laughs> But Mother Nature came through, and we have some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous skies. And here's my five inside. Now we need to cut eight of whatever you want to coordinate for the inside. 
and I'm going to go with the blues and the browns. And I'll cut eight of these at three, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Uh oh, something did not measure out here. It was this one. Whoa, we just barely made it because I would have hated to waste paper. So on a 12 by 12, you can get three across. Oh, this is the this is the caterpillar crop. Absolutely love it. And then I do have the caterpillar. Oh, and I stepped on the dog head. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I didn't know he was behind me. And this is the caterpillar pro. And they're on the website. And the beautiful thing about this is watch. We have a light, which does help on both of them. So these are wonderful. And I feel so bad. I stepped on my buddy's nose. I'm sorry. You guys, I heard him. He was sound asleep. So I got the light on, which really helped me. You can't really see, but see, I can see from the paper there, but I really don't need it. Yes, it is green and it is pretty. Oh, you're good. And Cindy is naming her cutter Kermit. Four. Four. And I want two for the outside. I mean, four for the outside. Oh, I just, I feel horrible. Homer, did I scare you to death? He was sound asleep and I stepped on him. I have to remember to look down. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so basically you need three sheets of pattern paper. And also, what a lovely gift to coordinate with your mini album or folio. But we still need that. Okay, we are now going to cut, and this is why we don't want to worry about direction. Put this in your cutter. Corner to corner. Got to make sure we're good. Cut your first one. Hi, Jennifer. Cut your first one because I want to show you something. We need to double check. Sometimes, oh, no. That's, sometimes I like to trim them down if I find this is going to be too big. But I think I will. For right now, I'm just going to take a little bit off of this edge. It, it all it all depends on your manually how you manual manually scored it. So those two are good, but now I know basically I'm going to take off just like a sixteenth of an inch on each side. So I just moved it down to take off the hair. I mean just a little bit, and then we will know that they fit. The way they're supposed to. And then for all futures, I would just do that cut it hair short. So instead of at three and seven eighths. Just move it down a, a little bit on the cutter to give it a little haircut. Hi, 
Hi, Pamela. How are you? Well, it was kind of an impromptu live. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is there's been a lot of requests for the videos that I call it my lost videos. Um, there was um, a couple of groups and uh, Facebook pages. When they closed their page, my videos were on there. And those were fun tutorials and usable. I saw she slept with you last night. There's nothing like having a beagle in your bed. <laughs> so I'm just lining these up on the edge. And we need to cut all eight of them. You know what? For anybody out there with a beagle... Pamela's talking about her beagle being a bed hog. Um, I have two of them. I had to kick them off last night. They don't go over on my husband's side because they know better. But they were taking up. Well, this is a king size bed. These beagles, one of them is really little. He thinks he owns the bed. And I like to use the non-directional. Then I don't have to worry when I, so I'm just throwing them here in my pile because you don't want to have to sit here and mit, match. But this is really a cute gift if you go to crops or retreats. We have one coming up here in just a couple of weeks. And these make really nice table made gifts. Okay. Let me grab oh my glue and if you guys did not hear it's my glue um our glitter glue is back in stock it is now warm enough we can ship it so jump on and get your glue bills and if you're coming to the retreat we'll have plenty of extra bottles but you get a you you get your uh art glitter glue too while you're here And let's start matting. I do like the browns together. I love the way it kind of complements each other really well. Where's my cloth? I can't wait either. It's been a long winter and it is time for us all to get together. I can't wait. And you'll get to see the warehouse this time, Pamela. We didn't, of course, have, we only have the store open. And now the warehouse is open. And, well, you know, the warehouse is right next to the store. And you're going to love how organized. Um, Ron came down. Michelle, Sally got in there and just really... Organized it. I don't have glue on that edge and it's driving me bananas. It should be okay. Okay. Should have put that on the bottom. Should have looked. That would have been very cute. Well, I cut that right out. So it was the wording. Mm. Yes, they do make great hostess gift, Pamela. So if you're going to a barbecue, yep, you get yourself some barbecue. I mean, 
yourself some fun can summer candy that would go with the barbecue or you put little bottles of hot sauce in there barbecue sauce now this will have hold it all you have to do is you're making this and you want it to hold something heavier you would put lightweight chipboard in the full squares on the inside hello lightweight chipboard and i think I, I will make an, another one. I'll show you how to do that because it's going to strengthen it and you can put heavy things in there like hot sauce. You could use this on the table and put the ketchup mustard. It's really cute things that will go inside of here. Now, before we do our corners, let's go ahead the inside corners. I'm going to flip this over. I want to do the back side. And the thing is going to be directional. So make sure the bottom doesn't matter as much. What I'm doing is I'm just laying these out here. And that one will go this way. And that one will go this way. Because remember, we're going to fold these up. And so you want the directional going in the right direction. K cups, yes. All kinds of fun things for the barbecue. Or baby showers. Wedding showers, anything. These are going to make really cute table. Oh, and flowers. You can put artificial flowers in these. This one is probably, probably should do that and have it on display at the store. You know what? I went into a store in Unfortunately, it was closing in Wyoming, and I uh, she she would make these, and she made some of my other items. It was exciting to see, and she had that person. Yeah, she had cute little things in them, and I was like, that that is so awesome to see this in the store. Oh, Cindy. Yep, happy birthday. This is the bottom, so I'm not concerned. No matter what, the direction would be right, no, the way you turn it. Yep, I'm loving the new felt brown. The felt brown looks, I mean, the off the ground but it felt and this is going to be on the website this afternoon and also in packs of 25 and single sheets but you're gonna love the felt brown and it's holding up so I'm very happy with it you know I always test it oh are you six years old today Cindy <laughs> you know I, I always test when the mill and the reps bring me samples, I test it before putting it on the website because if it's not going to do well for me, it's not going to do well for you and you won't like it. That's why I won't carry it. So I'm happy with this. And I'm going to show you uh, one a whole album I did with the parchment here when we're done. Just so you can get an idea. The parchment paper did a beautiful job also. You know, you can see when I fold it up, it's going to go the right directions. Nice and heavy. Love it. Oh my gosh, it's on. Okay, so we're going blue on the inside because it would be very difficult to get these directionals all the same. I don't know, maybe not. Let's try something. Hmm. It not it may work. I would love it if it would work. Oh, they're not they're not the exact match. You know, it's not the other half. It's fine. Hmm. I'm be able to do it. Because this one definitely does not go with that one.
Oh, well, that's yes. I want you to be happy because if I'm not happy with it, you can be happy with it. You're right, Pam. This is nice and strong. So it looks like I'm going with the pattern on this side. It looks like these are going to match up pretty nice. It doesn't bother me. It, that's what I love about doing the collages on the papers. With the collage, you can go just about any direction. And we still get all these fabulous colors. And always smooth that glue out. You want it to be flat. Yes, and I love making patchworks with my papers. I don't know about you guys, but sunshine makes a world of difference. I feel like now I can start really creating things. That snow we were having was really bringing me down, but it was amazing. We had eight inches in the backyard. And then it was just last, what, Thursday? The snow melted. All of it. There is not a, a, any of it. It's a little wet. And if you if you follow me on my regular Facebook page, I'm telling you, I spent all day after I came home from the store on Friday. I didn't even get online. I played ball with Wilbur and Homer, my Eagles, and we just played outside. And then played outside all day Sunday. I was going to get on and and Zoom with the group I am in. And I'm like, nope, I'm staying out here and playing with the dogs. Oh, is it, Denise? Okay, so you guys are getting some of this good weather, too. Sunshine just makes you feel so good all over. Sunshine and coffee. And then crafting with friends is even better. And to be honest, this is one of those projects when you just don't want to put a lot of brain power and energy. Sometimes you just want to play with paper. I know you all have that feeling. You don't want to have to construct. You don't want to have to follow these duty, duty directions. But you want something to come out of it. You know, a finished project. This is one of those projects. And um, all this week I plan on going on and doing some video remakes, short project remakes that were lost. And I don't have a schedule, so just know that everything will stay recorded. And you can access them at any time. And during the matting, you can even mute me. For those of you that want that quiet time. But once you once you make it, you won't have to watch. I see that's gonna come inside like so. Oh, so pretty. Now the outside. Same thing. I'm going to look at the iced coffee. Yeah, it's kind of I'm gonna use this site. I was gonna just go blue. Those will be my outside corners. So, hmm, we've already got a pattern there. I think I'll just go blue. Since this will be the main design out here. And after this week, a lot of the projects, though, that I'm making are really great. Hi, 
Hi, Debbie Ellie. Um, so you're going to also want to get these made. This is something you could store flat for the holidays. Get some Christmas ones, get some Halloween. You know, my Halloween paper, my Christmas paper is available right now. It, you know, if it's so shows sold out, no fear. Everything will be reprinting. And it never goes away, which is nice. But we've got plenty of little monsters in stock. Get your Halloween basket made. I know when you think about it, May, June, July, August, September, basically have less than six months when you think about it. So get on the ball. <laughs> get the Christmas. I've I've got plenty of blessings. Thanksgiving paper, even though I have a new one that will come out, you're going to want to get these made so that you have this part. Put it in your um, iris 12 by 12 boxes, pull it out, fill it, and you're on your way to your neighbors. Yep, my designers will be doing Halloween in some of them in June. I know, I don't know what Sandy's going to do this year. It was, I'll tell you. Oh, she usually does the 31 days of Halloween or, or a fabulous, fabulous thing like that. I'm not sure if they're going to change it up because that's, that's a lot of work for projects, let me tell you. But you're always going to get free, great projects from our designers showing you how to use what you purchase at Country Craft Creations. We don't want you to have to also pay. For your tutorials, we want you to enjoy what you purchase and learn how to create projects with it. Hi, David. Happy Easter. Yes. Oh, how nice. You probably just make albums, aren't you? Uh, we don't get Mondays off. Well, some do. We got a busy day. Homer starts his, he's 19 months old. He's really a good little beagle, but he's terrible on the leash and he's terrible with barking. So he's going to a good manners class for eight weeks and we have to take him. I am making my husband go <laughs> because. He has to be able to reinforce what Homer's learning. Hi, Tanya. Okay, so again, one 12 by 12 sheet, score four and eight, four and eight, and then gorgeous. It's just gorgeous, such rich, beautiful colors. Okay, now, as you can see, this is now, remember it bent before? It's now an extremely strong box. So pop those in, but we are going to punch some holes and then we want to go back and we're going to burnish this again. So you have, we've got to, if you want to run ribbon through, I'm going to set this. And I hate using this big one, but I can't find my small one to show you. I don't, let me check one other. My stuff got moved. And I don't know where that got moved to. I'm going to have to get another one at the store. So I'm just using a small one. You don't need anything too big. And I will kind of give you a measurement. But what I do, I'm going to pick this up. Pick this up. I'm going to fold those in half. So it kind of looks like I'm forming the box. I'm going to give you a measurement here in a second. Did you see that? So you want about half, you want to stay half inch. Measure in from this tip, one half an inch. And if you have one of the cutters, a crocodile or this one, then you can set 
it may not go that small. It won't go that small. It won't go that small, and I don't want to go that far. So I, I'm just going in half of an inch from here. Oh, hi, Terry. That is so sweet from the tip to there. That's where I'm going to punch my hole. So I'm going to fold this up again. Fold it so it's like making a box. They do not have to be perfect. Your holes where you punch them, but you want to keep away from the edges and a little close there, but we'll be okay. Going in with the point in first. Punch your Now, if for some reason <laughs> you punched it where it don't belong, just put another piece of matting on the front and on the inside where you punch your hole. There. We're going to reburnish. I'm going to reburnish it. These four minutes. Reburnish everything okay, like it's supposed to go. See, it you want that you want this to be a box, kind of. So we're just gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna reburnish my other corners, just go on the bottom there. want to lay flat instead of see it doesn't want to go over I like the brown paper now it's laying more flat okay now I just want to grab I just cut I cut a really big long piece this is about I cut a yard I don't need it all so we're going to bring this up. If you have one, a big needle, I have something here. It makes it a lot easier. You know the darning needles? I have them. They're kind of green. I've got the green plastic ones and I've got the big metal ones. I always tell myself, oh, look, I keep it closed. I don't. Okay. No big deal. It just it does help. And I actually have some here. I'm sure I'm looking right at them. I just want to poke him through. Because on this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and make a knot to keep it much from pulling back through as I'm working on it. I'll cut that. You're going to need that to tie. But that's just to keep it from going through. I'm working on it. Jeez, my tweezers are so. It's pretty long. You only need a half yard.
Now, if you wanted, you could take it back through and knot that. But what I'm going to do is loosen this up. So if I was taking this for a gift, I would take it already tied. But of course, if you're not going to, you, you're traveling with it, then you can also just have it flat. So I'm just do here. wrapping it and I want it to be not something you have to do but I do and it kind of binds it together and I am going to knot this You can hang charms from the end of this. How cute would that be? Get yourself some coffee charms. Actually, we're just going to knot the end like that one and they'll match. And it won't come unraveled. And you are now ready to fill it full of goodies. Even crafting goodies on there. Maybe you want to give us a pair of scissors or so anything in the box. Yes, the seam binder is actually um, it really easy to make, it, but isn't that pretty with the blue peeking out? So this is our What's Brewing. And yes, I believe the 12 by 12 has sold out. It is being reprinted right now. It went so fast. And then when you look inside, you can see some of the blue and the collage. And there you go, guys. That is the remake. I know. This one is, I'm just going to restore. Now, you could put some artificial flowers in here. And that match. And it just really brightened up a room. Fabulous gift. And we did this in less than in an hour because I started at 11 o'clock. We did 49 minutes. You could probably pop those out in 30 minutes flat and get yourself an assembly line and you got some fabulous fabulous. Turns out so cute, you guys. And it's been so much fun, but I will be back on. Actually, I'm going to try and come on tonight and do a box that will match this. I just have to get home from dog training. <laughs> And I have a meeting, and then we'll see what happens. And um, have a happy Monday and crafting and all of you that are off. So make it to match the project that you are um, creating. And you've got, look at what a nice, great twist. And you're also on your desk. So don't be, you know, just look on your desk. Too. You can put those crafting tools right in there. Have it at a, an event, at a retreat, at a crop, and you buy. Oh, yeah. Possibilities are endless. Have fun with this, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Have a great Monday.